Hey guys, this is Javan Joel over here at CloudGunk. I'm the lead developer. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the top five reasons why a career in .NET is a good choice. The platform that I manage, CloudGunk, was built in .NET and I've been using .NET for over 16 years, pretty much since it first came out. So I've seen the evolution of .NET. I've also seen the other technologies that have come out since then. I myself uh, can develop in multiple languages and technologies. I've done Java, Go, Python. So I'm coming from I'm coming to this from a perspective of that I've tried other things before. Uh, my choice is specifically .NET and I feel like it's a good choice. So if you're thinking about getting into development or you're even a developer already and you're thinking maybe I should go into .NET, I will tell you it is a great career choice and I'll give you a few reasons why. So reason number one, Microsoft. All right, I know that we're talking about .NET, uh, but .NET is built in by Microsoft. Microsoft has been around for many decades. Uh, they're a very consistent company and they have a lot of longevity and a good track record of innovation. Uh, Microsoft, you see all these development languages and technologies, sometimes Node will be number one and Python will be number one and Ruby will be number one, but then eventually they come back down. Microsoft has been consistently up there. The .NET framework C Sharp has been a consistent contender in the development space and they're not going anywhere. They're going to be here for quite some time. They're not showing any signs of uh, slowing down. Uh, they're actually innovating a lot more. Um, they have great documentation, some of the best. I can tell you one of the biggest things about moving from .NET to other languages is that the documentation just isn't that great. The documentation for C Sharp and .NET is so comprehensive, so well organized, so well presented, it makes it really easy to find things and get to the answers of what you're looking to do. Uh, there's a great community that Microsoft has built up over the years of developers that get together that are able to uh, contribute and, and share knowledge and also even a lot of uh, Microsoft employees will even sometimes interact with you. Uh, people like Scott Guthrie, uh, I've even had the privilege of interacting with throughout my career. Um, the other thing is that there's a lot of legacy software out there built in the .NET framework. M literally billions and billions of dollars of software out there that need maintaining. There's companies still investing in .NET uh, and all the cool kids usually go for the newest stuff like a Python or a Node. So sometimes this leaves a shortage of .NET developers out there which makes you that much more um, important in, in the market of .NET development. Okay, so reason number two, C Sharp. Yes, I know this is talking about .NET and not specifically C Sharp, but I mentioned C Sharp because C Sharp is quite frankly, the main language you most people develop in .NET. And C Sharp is the perfect language. It has elements of just about every other language and all the good elements too. You could do Lambda expressions, uh, generics, you have the dynamic language runtime to be able to develop uh, using di more dynamic uh, methodologies uh, and my favorite thing being link is quite possibly the best thing ever invented in a programming language link is very easy to use very intuitive uh, and it's actually enjoyable to work with um, nowadays Microsoft uses the strategy of doing incremental updates to the language so years ago we had to wait for uh, for uh, .NET 3 to .NET uh, C Sharp 3 to C Sharp 4. Now they do uh, C, uh, C Sharp 7.1, 7.2. They're doing these incremental updates that give it these more powerful language features that all of us could tap into uh, in our current projects. We don't even have to do these crazy upgrade paths or anything like that. Very great language to work with, very easy. Um, fits just about any style of, of programmer that you want to work with, whether you're a functional programmer or object-oriented programmer, C Sharp is a very enjoyable language to work with and it makes it that much more enjoyable and easy to work with .NET in itself. Reason number three, 
Visual Studio. Yes, Visual Studio is quite frankly the king of all editors. It has been around uh, for many decades right now. It has seen a, a great evolution in, in terms of functionality and features and ease of use. Um, uh, you have a great community of, P of developers uh, contributing plugins to the platform, contributing NuGet packages that make it that much more feature rich and that much more powerful in terms of the flexibility and functionality you could add to Visual Studio. On top of that, Visual Studio is available everywhere now. You have Visual Studio for Mac, you have the dumbed down version of Video Visual Studio for Code, and it's free. Uh, back in the day, we used to have to spend uh, hundreds of dollars, sometimes thousands of dollars to get the editor. Now Microsoft offers it for free. They have the Community Edition. Hobbyists could use it. They have Visual Studio Code. You could use it on your Mac. Great, great product to work with. Number four, Azure. Yes, Microsoft Azure. Very great platform to work with. A great suite of cloud services. I'm very impressed with with Microsoft has done with the Azure platform in terms of the services it offers. Their dashboard is very customizable. I could put graphs and charts together. I could put views to the suite of services that I have. They have things like billing suggestions. You could easily spin up SQL servers and, and uh, 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 virtual machines, they have a lot of uh, functional services you could work with. Um, it integrates seamlessly into Visual Studio, so if you want to deploy from Visual Studio to Azure, you have all the tools to do that. Um, uh, they offer a lot of really cool uh, next level services like artificial intelligence and their media services. Uh, and for as as far as pricing is concerned, they're very competitive with things like AWS and Google, the Google Cloud, um, and they continue to even come down in price. I know that using Microsoft, sometimes I get emails saying, "Hey, we actually lowered our prices. Your your hosting fee is going to be cheaper this month," which is a very nice email to get. Uh, on top of that, there's been times where I had to deal with the Azure support. Their support is very helpful and friendly. Uh, they come on and 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 they really seems like they make the, the extra effort to really help you out. I just want to put a little close on here. I'm not getting paid by Microsoft. This is my personal experience in my career of Microsoft and their Azure services. And I can tell you it's a very impressive suite of services. Uh, it just makes working in .NET all that much more easier, all that much more enjoyable, and helps you to be successful working with the platform. Okay, so reason number five cross-platform. Yes, there's virtually no other language where you could do just about anything other than .NET. I mean, you could develop anywhere. They're, they're doing things like uh, VR and AR development where, where you could use the .NET framework to develop and, and uh, the, for these targets. You have the universal Windows platform which allows you to develop code bases that could target multiple different devices and multiple versions of Windows. You have game development, Xbox and Windows games using the .NET framework. Uh, Visual Studio for Mac, you could develop for Mac now uh, using the .NET. And one of my favorite things is Xamarin. Uh, Xamarin is rarely talked about, but I think it's a very powerful suite. Uh, and then basically allows you to develop a code base that could target um, uh, Windows, it could target iPhones, and it can target Android in one single code base. Definitely saves a lot of time, a lot of money. Uh, very cool to work with, very easy. The great thing about all these things is once you learn .NET, once you learn a language, you could work in all these technologies. On top of the cross-platform, you don't have to work in C Sharp. You don't even have to work in Visual Basic. If you're a Python developer, you could use Iron Python and, and work in .NET. They have things like Iron Ruby. Lots and lots of different languages. I think at the last time I checked, there were around 70 different languages you could target to work with the .NET framework. Uh, C Sharp just happens to be my specific choice and, and my recommended one. but you have the option. You, you're a Python developer, Iron Python. You can even develop Python applications using Visual Studio. You don't even have to use the .NET framework, but that's another video altogether. Okay guys, so that's my top five reasons of why .NET is a good career choice. Um, you fanboys out there of Python, of Node, maybe you don't agree. At the end of the day, 
all of us could develop software. We could do the same thing. You could develop a website. I could develop a website. You just happen to be using a different technology. The reason why I like .NET is for the reasons I mentioned. This whole ecosystem that Microsoft has developed a couple of decades ago and that they've been continually building up and working on, it's really making it enjoyable and easy for developers to create the software we need to create That's, that helps us to be innovative, that helps us to uh, do it for uh, a, a small level of effort. So let me know what you guys think, especially you guys who are not Microsoft fanboys, who are more into Python. I definitely love to hear from you.